Welcome to the Freeland Spotlight Talks for YouTube. Before we begin, I encourage you to use these videos interactively. When you are prompted to observe, pause the video and look carefully. When the educator asks a question, feel free to pause the video again and discuss your observations and ideas, making sure to address what you see that makes you say that. Enjoy! Join me in carefully observing William Wiley's photograph, Untitled, from the series Stillwater. Let your eyes skate across the image, then look slowly and carefully, making sure to look in all four corners of the photograph. Notice what your eye is drawn to first, and notice what is taking longer to observe. Perhaps you want to go to the center of the photograph, and then let your eye move out towards the sides. Or maybe you want to observe from the top of the image. Let your eye cascade down to the bottom. What do you notice? Might that be a rock? It's hard to tell how large or small it is. And the more I look for clues, the more mysterious it seems. What might be causing all those shadows? Let your eye find all the areas of light and dark. I see reflections of a landscape along the top, but I can't quite figure out what might be causing the shadows. Are they trees? Or buildings? I'm also curious about the reflection of light in the top portion of the photograph. It looks like ripples of water. This movement of the water guides my eye from the upper right-hand corner back down to the central form. What about you? How does your eye move around this photograph? What questions might you have for the artist, William Wiley? William Wiley is a photographer and UVA professor whose work mainly focuses on the physical aspects of landscapes and sites. More specifically, he is driven by the question, what makes a place? Wiley says his goal is to investigate, quote, spatial practice, unquote, which he describes as, quote, our consumption of space as well as our movement through it, unquote. Wiley mainly works with digital and film photography, but he has also created short films and works on paper that have been featured nationally and internationally. Wiley's Untitled is a gelatin silver print, a process known for producing highly detailed images due to the emulsion of light-sensitive silver salts suspended on the surface of the photo paper. This photo was also taken with a three-second exposure meaning that the negative was exposed to light for a total of three seconds. This long exposure time blurs the water in the background because it is moving, but makes the still object in the center appear very sharp. When we asked Wiley what inspired this photograph, he said, quote, When I was photographing the Cache Lapooter River in Colorado, I saw this form. It's actually concrete, and it so reminded me of Giorgio Summer. I knew how to distort the water, so I decided to try a photograph. Scale was important, so I eliminated any background that could give away the size. I was actually working on the idea of a river as a human-influenced entity, i.e. not really natural anymore. So the fact that my rock was concrete was perfect." Unquote. Wiley shared more about the summer photograph that inspired his work. Quote, summer made this image on the island of Ischia, near Capri, around 1870. The formation is called Rocca fungi, or mushroom rock. I saw a print in the early 1980s and loved the form as well as the isolation due to the long exposure, making the water disappear. Better prints show the water more, but it's always an ambiguous space due to the lengthy exposure." Unquote. What similarities do you see between the two photographs? What differences? I notice how similar the shapes are and how the summer photograph includes a lone figure that creates a sense of scale. What interests you about the two images? Consider how Wiley's photograph might inspire your creative writing. What stories might you tell about what lies hidden beneath the surface of the water? Or what language might you use to describe the mood or feeling in the photograph? If this is a still photograph from a narrative, is it the beginning, middle, or end of the story? What do you see that makes you say that? 
Thank you so much for taking the time to look at William Wiley's untitled photograph from the series Stillwater with me. We hope you've enjoyed this Writer's Eye Spotlight Talk. Please reach out to the Education Department with any questions or feedback. Our email is museumoutreach at virginia.edu.